Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, June 1st, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, let's start with an update on the MSMSDT vulnerability that I uh, pretty much dedicated the podcast to yesterday. After recording the podcast, Microsoft did release a knowledge base article and an official vulnerability page for uh, this issue. We now also have a CVE number 2022-3190. And the name Folina has sort of uh, caught on for this vulnerability. Microsoft at this point really doesn't recommend anything different than what has been recommended before. And this is to disable the MSDT URL protocol. And with that, the uh, diagnostic tool will no longer automatically launch. Also, various exploits have been released so far. A lot of what we have seen is really just pen testers and people experimenting uh, with the vulnerability, but uh, there are also some actual exploitation of this vulnerability that are more prevalent now out in the wild. Before the vulnerability was released, there were really only two instances known of this vulnerability being used, but now everything from Chinese APT to script kitties are uh, using uh, this vulnerability. In some cases, like the one case that we have seen earlier today, the attacker didn't even change out of some of the comments and such uh, being left behind in uh, the uh, proof of concept uh, exploit tools that were released. So uh, very low effort attacks uh, that are now taking advantage of this vulnerability. Nothing from Microsoft yet about a potential patch for uh, this vulnerability. The next patch Tuesday would be in uh, two weeks on June 14th, if my patch Tuesday math is uh, correct. And Microsoft, by the way, only rates this vulnerability as important, not as critical. Uh, There are really two factors here. One is that it does require some user interaction. The user has to preview or open the document. And secondly, it's really classified as a local, not a remote attack, because you have to open that document uh, locally. So uh, that um, gives it a CVSS score in line with important, not with critical. Of course, uh, these two hurdles, the remote part, as well as the user interaction, are very easy to overcome. In so far, I would still rate this as something critical that you need to address quickly. And we got a little bit of catch up to do here given the long weekend and yesterday being sort of taken over by the MSMS DT vulnerability. First of all, last week actually, Cisco's Talus research team did announce vulnerabilities that they found a total of eight vulnerabilities in OAS software. OAS stands for Open Automation Software. And what it really is, it's basically software that you can use to connect the industrial control systems that are made from different manufacturers. So it's useful for logging and also to basically let these different devices that comply with different protocols talk to each other. Well, uh, the vulnerabilities go all the way up to a CVSS score of 9.4. So there are some remote code execution vulnerabilities here that would provide full access to any device using the software. Also, your typical REST API authentication bypass vulnerabilities and others. Definitely something that you probably want to address. And typically, the software listens on port TCP 58727. And currently, we are seeing a little bit scanning on this port, but nothing really all that significant or increasing. And Shadow Server took one of its internet censuses and looked at MySQL servers exposed to the internet. Well, they found a total of 4 million exposed via IPv4, 1.4 million via IPv6, but not all of them were actually responding with a server greeting. So there may be some other service that just happened to use the port uh, listening here, but still about a total of uh, 3.5, 3.6 million MySQL servers are exposed 
via IPv4 or IPv6. Definitely nothing that you should expose. There are plenty of people out there looking for misconfigured MySQL servers. And well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.